Everything that we write on Wikipedia has to be referenced. It's one of the most important parts of editing. So let's cover that now. So I'm on the Photograph 51 page now, which is the play about Rosalind Franklin. And we added a sentence in the previous chapter about the play's premiere in Melbourne in uh, 2019. We're going to add some, some news stories or articles that show those new recent productions in Australia, because we need to reference everything that we write on Wikipedia. I'm actually going to go and find a reputable news source now of the play's premiere. I'm going to just look up Photograph 51 in Melbourne. And as you can see, there's plenty of coverage of that, but I'm gonna go and find the best sort of news source that I can out of my options here. And I'm gonna select The Age, which is a major newspaper in Australia. So this looks like a very reputable source showing when this play was in fact premiered in Melbourne. So what I'm gonna do now is, because this is what I want to reference, I'm actually gonna copy the URL like you can see here. So I'm just using Command C, but you might copy and paste in other ways as well. Returning to Wikipedia now, I'm gonna to go to my Edit tab. And as you can see, it's loading the visual editor, which I can tell because there's no code or any weird links or symbols or anything like that. Of course, if I need to switch, I can here, but I'm clearly already in the visual editor. And like any academic referencing, you're always referencing at the end of the relevant sentence. So you place your cursor exactly where it is that you want to reference. And then go up the top to find a button called the Cite button here. Clicking on that, as you can see, it opens a pop-up window. I'm simply going to paste the URL I just copied from the new source and hit the Generate button. And this is automatically going to go and get the metadata, the title and the author and the news publication for that particular source. So I'm looking at that there and yep, that looks great. So I'm now going to insert my reference and now I'm going to publish that change. So if I hit the publish changes button, I now need to add that brief description of what I just did. And as you can see, it's come up with a little number. And if I click on that, you can see that my reference is beautifully formatted down under the references section. Now, it doesn't just have to be a URL using the automatic citation tool. If I go back to the edit tab, and then once again, place my cursor at the end of that sentence, if I go and click again on the cite button, you can see that I can actually add an ISBN number if it's a book or a DOI number, and it might be able to go and select that metadata that way as well. Having said that, it doesn't always work. There are instances where it doesn't collect the metadata or information that you need. And if that's the case, placing my cursor in the place where I want my citation to be, I'm gonna go back to that icon, the cite button. Now you might notice there's actually three tabs there in that pop-up window. So if my automatic tool didn't work, I can also use the manual tool as well and add that information around my citation manually. So since I was looking at a website, I can then go and just add the different pieces of metadata around my reference manually here. If you're missing some bits and pieces, that's okay. Just add as many as you can. And then once you're done, just insert your reference and you will see it appear in the same way. And if you're happy with that, you can publish those changes again, adding that edit summary as you go. And just lastly, sometimes we reuse a particular reference again and again throughout an article, particularly if it's a book. Once again, returning to our site pop-up tab, that third section is actually called reuse. And so if we're using that reference several times through the article, we can actually just go and select whichever one we're using again. So let's just pretend I'm selecting this one now. And as you can see, it's automatically added that little number for me. Down in the references, you will then see that there's now a little number indicating that the reference has been used in different places throughout the article. So if I'm happy with that, once again, I publish the changes, add a brief edit summary about what I've done, and publish those changes. So that's the basics of adding a reference. Next up, we'll look at creating a brand new page on Wikipedia.